What's up everyone, it's Kyle from Color Expression, back with another swatch and review. Today I'm partnering up with Model Ones to look at their new Mermaid Bubble set, which was a part of their SS 2023 release. They just came out with a whole bunch of sets and collections and compilations of colors in all sorts of finishes and styles. So all of the links will be down in the description if you want to check these out. They are available through Amazon or the Model Ones website, so both will be linked down below. So far I've gotten to use a range of finishes from them, and I've really liked all of the different pigments and styles of polish. And and they also have these really cool little color cubes that are like solid gel polish in a little palette type thing, which I think those would be really good for nail art. And if you are interested in seeing one of those on the channel, definitely let me know down in the comments. But for now, we're going to look at this really nice six piece gel set. Model Ones is a gel polish brand that started in 2015 and their formulas are 11 free, vegan, cruelty free, and low smell. They're also partnering up with their ambassador, Tom Baycheck currently, and he is a nail artist for celebrities like Camila Cabello, Haley Steinfeld, Selena Gomez, JLo, just a really bunch of cool people and it must be so amazing to get to do the nails of all these amazing artists as your job. So they are currently partnering up and I will leave his links down in the description below. So definitely check those out. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you're always staying up to date on the newest model ones and nail polish content. But I think it's time we swim on over to these swatches. First up, we will look at the cream shade, and it's a really nice sea foamy green polish. I would say it's a pretty true mix of green and blue, like you could call it either one and I think it would apply, but you can see on this application, we we're getting really nice coverage, and what someone had let me know on the last gel video was to make sure you're doing thin coats, so the coats can actually cure in the LED lamp. So I went really nice and thin with the coats in this video and then cured for 60 seconds in between each one, which I did do off camera just because you don't need to see my finger in a little blue light, but we are curing it in between each coat and before the little wiggle, just so you know, that is a fully cured nail. But after we built this one up in two coats, I really liked that coverage. It went on really well, so I called it there and you can see it just filled in so nice. It's this really nice springy sort of pastel -y cream, but it was still a little bit bright too. It was a little bit brighter in person than the camera could seem to capture, but I honestly really liked this color and I think it paired especially nice with our next shade, which is a hollow glitter. I use it as a topper, but in hindsight, I think it could be a full coverage glitter polish. You'll see as we apply it, we're getting a lot of glitter going onto the nail and some of the pictures on the listing for this one do show it as a full manicure. So I'm interested to see what exactly it would look like built up in probably three coats. I think that would be really good coverage of it. So maybe watch out for a short or a reel so we can check that out. But for now, I did use it as a topper and I really liked it in that application. I, I felt like it was a nice disbursement of glitter. I loved those flashes of hollow and in the full hand, you'll get to see that sparkle a little bit more. And it was honestly so nice. I really like the glitter that they used in here. It's a good size. And if I like this as a topper this much, I can only imagine doing this just full three coats of this hollow glitter it would be so cool. Next up, we have this golden sort of shimmer pigment, but it almost has a really fine hollow glitter in there as well. You get this rainbowy effect sometimes, and it's a really nice mix of things. It's sort of sandy, it really fit into the theme of this one. I felt like it fit in so well, so I am a huge fan of them, including this shade. I think it would be a good base for nail art, or just is, is really versatile. And you can see on the application, I did really like the two coat coverage, so I did stop there. I feel like maybe a longer nail, or maybe if you want just a little bit of a more opaque finish you could do a third coat but I do feel like two looked really nice and you'll get to see in the macro some of that sort of rainbowy part and honestly this one really surprised me I felt like it was a surprise favorite because once you actually get it on the nail and get to see it in all sorts of different light and stuff it was just really sparkly and you can see that rainbow and yeah I 
I feel like for a sort of nude and subtle polish, they did a great job with the finish and this sort of mix of ingredients. So definitely happy that they included this one in the set. Next up, we have another shimmery pigment, and this one very much reminded me of some water or waves or something. So again, with the theming, just really like how these are all sort of coming together. But here you can see we're getting this almost sort of milky white-ish, but bluey base. And then in there, it's all of that shimmery pigment, and it is a sort of blue shimmer that I didn't find had too much of a color shift, but it was still really sparkly. It looked really nice, and just because that base is so sort of jelly-ish, I did build it up in three coats just to get a lot of that pigment, fill in the nail really nicely, and I felt like that looked good. So doing those thin coats also worked really well. I truly think, I don't know who left that comment, but thank you so much for letting me know that. I feel like doing this application just felt so nice doing those thin coats and getting them cured and they looked really good. So it wasn't gloopy, it wasn't too much product on the nail or brush or anything. And I really like how they turned out, especially once you get to see this one as a full hand, you'll really get sort of that magical and almost like ethereal feeling from it. I feel like that sparkle just looks so good in the light and especially sunlight, these are just gonna light up and be super nice, especially for spring. Again, just a great, great time to wear this polish, but even in the winter, I, I don't know, this is like an all year around polish because it's honestly really pretty. <laughs> Next up, we have another blue jelly polish, I guess you could say, but this one is very different than the last one. You can see we're getting this really strong sort of fuchsia purpley pigment in here, and it's not quite a shimmer. It's almost this pearlescent type look. And again, I really liked the pigment in here. I feel like it's just, it's not what I expected from Model 1s, but they had all these different things in each shade, and it, it really was, pretty cool. So I'm a big fan of this set and I'm excited to try out even more of them. But anyway, back to this shade, you can see it does have that pretty thin base again. So we are going to do three coats just to build up that coverage, build up that pigment and really let this polish shine. And I felt like the three thin coats again, it was super easy to do. You, you're not waiting for these to dry. You're just curing them for 60 seconds. It's so easy. So I really feel like a third coat is not a big deal at all, so we're gonna just do that third coat, get to see this one really nice and close, and then as the full hand, you really get that nice effect. I feel like seeing the full hand manicure just, it makes the polish look so different in my opinion. Maybe that's just me, let me know what you think, but look at that, it just, oh, it looks so nice with that purple glow when the light hits it, and yeah, totally a fan of this one, and I feel like also all of these would look so good with that hollow glitter on top of them. That's not something I mentioned up until now, but definitely would look so good over this whole collection, this whole set. Rounding out these shades, we have this really beautiful glitter polish, which is a mix of sort of blue and silver metallic glitters, like hex glitters, in a bunch of different sizes. We're getting big ones, small ones, medium ones. And honestly, this isn't a shade that I thought that I would love, but I truly love it. It is so beautiful. I feel like this mix of glitter, once I got this on as a full hand manicure, I was just like, wow, wow, wow. I could not believe it. This truly, like, I don't have a polish like this that's just metallics hex glitters metallics, metallic hex glitters, but I loved this polish so much. I want more of these. I want to see all different colors, all different sizes. It just looks so beautiful to me. And because we are getting that clear base, I did choose to build this one up in three coats. And I feel like that looked really nice. There was a lot of glitter coming off the brush, getting onto the nail without like crazy application. There was a little bit of, oh, let me fiddle here, fiddle there, get a glitter in this spot, which was also kind of cool to do with gel because it's not drying down, it's not getting stringy or thick or anything. You you have that time to manipulate it. So that was a nice experience. And then the final nail was a nice experience. So I just, I really love this one. I think I said one, another one was a surprise favorite. No, this was my surprise favorite. This was my favorite shade of the set. It's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous and sparkly and fits the theme and oh, it just, it looks so good. I'm obsessed. 
And then taking a look at all of the shades together, you can see the nice range of colors and finishes, but literally they're so cohesive. They fit that mermaid bubble theme so well. It's like an underwater oasis experience. It's like, it's such a nice mix of things. And I want to try out some nail art with these. I'm just, I'm very inspired. And I think they did a great job putting this little collection together. Now that we have seen these shades, I want to hear your thoughts on them, so leave a comment down below, let me know which one was your favorite, what do you think of all of these different formulas together, and what is a nail art look that you would do with this set? Personally, I really enjoyed using Model 1s and these gel polishes in general. It's such a surreal experience painting the nail, curing it, and then it's just hard and you're ready to go. And I know I said that in the last one, and I'll probably say that in every gel video because it I can't get over it. It's just so weird that the nails are, you're good, you're done. You are like, you're done, they are hard. So it's such a weird experience, but I really enjoyed it. And I feel like for people that are looking for a really long lasting manicure or a really tough sort of hard manicure, gel is a great option because they do last for a while, usually multiple weeks. So that's pretty cool. I haven't had personal experience with that just because, you know, I'm a swatcher. I got to try out all these different things for you guys. But on the last gel video, you did leave some great comments down below, some tips, some tricks. So leave that feedback so others in the comments can see it and also get that knowledge because we're all just learning together you know like I mentioned earlier don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it but I think that's gonna be it for this one today thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye sorry I've literally been battling the cat she has been running around this room the whole time I've been recording she has now left the build, not the building, but just the room. She's gone. <laughs> she was like tch, 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 jumping on the lights, jumping on the table. She was like, uh, you'd think she was like cocaine bear, but the cat version. Girl's crazy. I don't know. I don't know.